Hey Pisces, I'm back. I'm back permanently now. I'll be doing this 24-7. Uh, um, I miss you guys. Uh, I love you guys so much and uh, I really have missed doing this. Um, but I'm here to stay. So, uh, a couple of things. I am offering an extended reading and I'll link it in the description box down below. So if this reading is resonating with you, um, you know, feel free to follow me to the extended reading. Um, also, please keep in mind that this reading won't resonate with everyone. So if there are parts that do resonate with you, take that, but leave the rest out, okay? I am reading for a lot of people. This is also for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. First of all, your Oracle cards. We got Until Debt Tear Us Apart, Career Contracts and Commitments, Integration Union. Someone you were dealing with or you could possibly um, be in a commitment already or married. There's something blocking this union. And we have Karma, Balance, and Justice. Okay. So definitely a feeling here of wanting things to work out, wanting things to be successful and uh, possibly in, in the fact that somehow everyone on each side kind of gets what they want. Uh, that's the feeling here, although that's, sometimes that's not true, but it's almost that feeling of letting, uh, letting karma do its thing and letting things balance themselves out, letting the karmic laws uh, do that for you. All right, let's get the overall six of wands. Oh my goodness. So I think it was Scorpio. I can't remember, Scorpio or Sag, that had the six of wands as the overall. Again, being successful, right? The overall here is to be victorious in this, right? making things happen, uh, making also you shining during the process or both of you being successful in this. This is like, hmm, I wonder if you might have Scorpio in your chart or dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see what you are doing in regards to your person. We have seven of pentacles, five of wands, and the nine of wands. Right now, I feel like you're very conflicted. You're not sure if you want to reach out. You're not sure what you want to do. You're kind of like, it's kind of, it's like you're almost, you're still in the fight for this person, but you're kind of like on the edge going, I don't know when I should jump in. I don't know if I should say anything else. I don't know what I should do here. Seven of Pentacles. Talk about the Seven of Pentacles. King of Cups. You do love this person. You do care about this person a lot, but you've, it's not, you haven't really declared your love to them. You're kind of keeping your cards close to your chest, right? Some of this Five of Wands. Ace of Wands. Yeah. It's like a fight with yourself. You know, you do want a start with this person. You do want to do something about it, but it's almost like you want to be victorious in this, right? Six of wands, but there's almost this fear. Like if I do, will I get hurt or will I get stomped on? Is the competition too deep? The person you're dealing with might have a lot of competition we do have marriage here, so they could be in a commitment, things like that. Uh, however your situation fits. Tell them about the Nine of Wands. Hermit, yeah. It's almost like this person doesn't realize you're even interested, you know? Because you're kind of like, I'm just waiting in the wings. Yeah, I'm still interested, watching from afar, but I don't know if I want to put my two cents into the fight for this person. Uh, I'm really getting here that there might be a lot of people interested in this person. Um, it's, it's like you're waiting here. You're letting karma balance everything out. Um, seeing if it's, I just heard, if it's meant to be, it'll, it's meant to be. So it's almost too like you're waiting for the right time to jump in. 
but you're not quite sure what to say, what to do, is what I'm picking up intuitively. Okay. Let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you, Pisces. All right. We have the Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. This person could have been working on their finances or working on themselves a lot. Uh, tell me the Seven of Cups. I almost get this feeling of they do have a lot of choices in regards to love, uh, even though they may be in a commitment. It seems like they have choices. Okay, we have Seven of Cups Tower. This is like, this person doesn't know who to choose, which direction to go, because they're not sure what's the right one. Uh, tell us this tower. Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, Devil. Mm. So they didn't get what they wanted okay out of this situation in talking to you or a previous situation there's something that is really making them so fearful and so upset of actually giving someone a chance wow i feel like this is really intense because i'm feeling like almost my mood completely changed <clears throat> five of cups queen of wands devil this is uh, feeling like they're not good enough, even if they, even if they do pick the, pick a specific person, will it work out? Will they just abandon me? I'm getting abandonment here. Like I'm feeling it. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So they're really trying to seek the truth here. Yeah, so I just said. They're really trying to seek the truth. Page of Swords Justice card is clarifying that. Um, on what to do. Here we go with the balance, right? They want to make sure they make the right choice. Tell them the Nine of Pentacles. Star. They're really trying to work within. They might be a spiritual advisor, might be someone um, that's you know, listens to a lot of tarot readings or um, in that, or might be just a very spiritual person. Um, I'm even getting time that they might meditate a lot. Okay, let's see how this person feels about you. Let's get into that. Yeah, see, there might have been a situation where you I mean, this could be reversed, so don't take me, you know, like this is just your, this is you, you know, verbatim. But when they dealt with you in the past or things like they were interested and they were trying to like talk to you, something stopped them. Something made them feel like uh, you kind of drew them in and then kind of abandoned them, left them a little bit. And if it's not you, it's the other person. If that's you feeling that way about your person, then that's this the other person. But I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying. Um, I I knew I was picking up some type of abandonment issue here. Tell about the Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, High Priestess. So inside, it's like they. They really wanted to get to the nitty gritty of the situation. They really wanted to find out, are you for real or for you not? Are you, are, are you not? But they didn't get that opportunity. Uh, they do care about you. They do think that you're a very stable person. Um, even though there's like abandonment issues, it's like they almost don't trust their way of thinking a little bit. Tell this Two of Cups. Although they do feel the same towards you here. Two of Cups. Wheel. Could even feel like you're a soulmate to them as well. Tell about this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. It's something that, you know, there's something here about you and courage. They feel like you are an encourager to them. 
Like you always made them feel special, made them feel wanted. Uh, but something happens, something was done, or there's a block in the situation that makes them feel like uh, you wouldn't quite take the plunge with them, or they might be abandoned in the situation. Uh, let's see what's happening in the current moment between you two. Let's see here. Interesting. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. I see. Okay. So this is kind of heavy. <laughs> um, what's happening right now between you two is someone doesn't know if it's completely over. Uh, there may not have been communication at all. I don't know. Because there's eight of swords, nine of cups. So someone feels like they cannot attain uh, comfortability with the other. They cannot attain their happiness within the other. They're not completely content. Uh, it is freaking them out. It's, it's freaking them out. Or it's freaking you out. You are very fearful of, is this person truly interested in me? Are they going to work together with me? I do see a lot of communication for some of you. They might contact you a lot or text you. This could be text message of like, let's go. Do you want to do this? Let's go hang out. But then what happens is it's like, you know, they don't own up to where they want to hang out with, to hang out uh, with you at a certain place. They don't know, like, they don't quite commit to what they say to you. Like, for instance, you want to go meet me at, you know, this coffee shop, uh, and then you say, okay, what time? And you say, uh, what time of day? They tell you, and then they don't. Um, and they act like, we, oh, yeah. You know, they don't say anything the day prior and you're like, are we still going? And they're like, oh yeah, I totally forgot it. We're, it's like that kind of feeling here. That's what's happening. Death moon. Somebody's not sure what's going on. Like, is this over? Tell about the death moon. Six of swords, six of pentacles. So we have so many sixes. Somebody wants to make this work. Somebody's wants to make this successful and they're not sure if it's going to happen death moon card they don't know if they can transition from this point of being in this like bubble of this person kind of abandoned me once are they going to abandon me again uh not sure if they want to trust it oh 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 oh, oh. pisces um Let's get a little more here, because this is, let's find out what's going on. Fool, Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, or someone that's been hurt in the past, or this could be you. Uh, remember, it can go vice versa. Um, this is really hard having a new start when, I mean, it's a lot for this person or for you that, uh, it's like, it's too much. Uh, I've been so hurt in the past. Uh, do I allow this again? And this is really weighing on this person. It's really bothering them. I just heard, well, why won't they message me back? So maybe some of you message them, they don't message back, or vice versa. Anything we can leave Pisces with, please, that they need to know about their person. Yeah, they feel like, so at the moment, they just cannot make a decision. Tell them two swords. We do have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, see, 
they have great memories of you, right? And I just heard they dream of you. So they do have dreams about you too. Yeah, C4, Sword, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups. And they have fond memories, does make them happy, but they're, they're just like, they're not wanting to even look at the situation. Tell with the Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. They would like, though, to move forward with you and be able to make this happen. But it's just, it's like contradicting here. Tell the Ten of Swords magician. Temperance. It's kind of like they ended it at that moment. They're just done. Like, disappear. Okay, that's it. But they're still, they've still been around. This is really... Wow. Okay. They've been around. Tell about the Tempest card. Four of Wands. See, they still see you as a stable. There's still, there's still a stable foundation here. It's just someone's fears or someone's upset. They're not quite sure <clears throat> how to go about this. Okay, well, if this reading is resonating with you, um, you know, you can join me in the extended reading. We're going to go over what actions they're going to take, what the future is, uh, get a little details on that and the advice. Uh, also, sacred soulmate cards and romance angel cards. So uh, if, that, if you're interested, I'll see you over there. If not, I love you anyway, and thank you for joining me here. Okay, you guys have a good one. Bye.